tight end on the move. Hill follows Pecco. Sooner or later, you got to run play action. Second and goal. They keep pounding it away. That's Hill. Lunges towards the end zone. No signal from the officials. Appears to be short yet again. And look how many red jerseys are getting pushed. Look, they're getting pushed on the other side of the line of scrimmage. And that one looked like it may be close. Awfully I I, close. I thought I saw the ball break the plane of the goal line there, even though Navarro Bowman's got his hand on the ball. Now take a look right here. It broke the plane right there. I believe it did. Mm. Right there. Pushed at the pile, very close to the goal line. Jeremy Hill. Domitop Pecos into the game of fullback. Here's Hill. Outside first touchdown. Close to the This is Hill. Come back inside Jaguars territory. One man to beat inside the 15. Still going, and he is in. Jeremy Hill. Touchdown for Hill, who's got 131 yards in his first NFL start. Excellent blocking, digging him out. Now watch this. As he's tight roping this sideline, he's going to give him that little lazy leg. And then watch this, cutting back, or he outruns him, and still able to get into the end zone. And again, it's Hill up the middle. Second and five, Hill again, right through. Stefan Jeremy Hill. Sonsenbacher, the former Ohio State Buckeye. Comes out as the third receiver. They run with the rookie Hill to the right. Who's into the secondary, and there goes Jeremy Hill midfield. Using Sanu, accelerating. Hill is gone. Touchdown. Jeremy Hill shows his vision, speed, and strength. On an 80-yard touchdown run, it's a counter play. You're going to see left guard Clint Bowling, left tackle Andrew Whitworth pull. Good patience by Hill. Missed tackle. And how about this finishing speed? Nice downfield block by Mohamed Sanu, and Jeremy Hill is closing in on 1,000 yards. Hard to do against the number two rushing defense in football. An 80-yard house call. As cool as the other side of the pillow. <laughs> Bengals tie the game 7-7. Bring him back, Rich. A.J. Green. So right. What's he doing right there? Oh, yeah. You gotta call my no team has been inside the red zone more than Cincinnati this season. First and ten pass out of the backfield. It's Jeremy Hill. Breaks a tackle. Lunges end zone. Touchdown. Monstrous effort by Hill, 13 yards on a catch and run for six. They've got so many weapons down in this area of the field. EKM Polly, he tries to cover. Watch, Jeremy Hill coming out of the backfield, number 75. He's no match, misses the tackle. Then watch the nifty footwork as he goes up and over Stephon Gilmore for the touchdown. This is what the Bengals do. They can stress you out with their personnel. You have to double so many of these players. Who do you take away? And then you're forced to put a defensive lineman on Jeremy Hill, who's just too good against EKE and Pollard. There's so much talk about the fact that Jeremy Hill just does not look like this. Hewitt in motion again. The handoff goes to Hill, trying left. He is slowed and now breaks free inside the five. Touchdown, Cincinnati. What a run by Jeremy Hill. He avoided Ben Heaney and then got some freedom to the outside. Uh, it, it, that's why I said I think this kid is a very special talent at the running back position. Again, Ray Ray Armstrong, he's got to keep contained there. Then Ben Heaney, 51, who misses the tackle, he would have been in position. But this kid, I'm telling you, 230 pounds, he's got muscles popping out everywhere. He can run you over and he can make you miss in space. He is something legit in the end. So, some of the great ones, they became even better. This is Jeremy Hill trying to get to the edge, breaks a tackle, and he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Bengals. This offensive line for the Bengals is very impressive. I mean, they just pull the backside guard and tackle, and they just maul you. Watch 71 and 68, Zeitler and Smith. That's just a... 
like two 18-wheelers escorting you down the highway. <laughs> you, you can't go wrong. Big bodies move little bodies, creating space for Jeremy Hill. Well, Hill has not had a big day in terms of rush yards, but two touchdowns. Jeremy Hill is the deep man. Dalton hands it off to Hill, steps left into the end zone, touchdown Cincinnati. And it's 16-0 Bengals. And of course, the one time I don't say they're going to smash it up the middle, what do they do? They smash it up the middle. <laughs> well, they relied on this seasoned uh, play of the offensive line and honestly, Hewitt as the H-back with the extra block. Yes, uh, great to have guys like Hewitt who are so versatile, can play tight end, can play fullback. Uh, but this offensive line... And out of the eye formation, it is Hill for a first down and more. Inside the 20, to the 10, to the 5. Touchdown, Jeremy Hill. Well, that takes that last decision totally out of the equation, huh, guys? That is Jeremy Hill's... 11th rushing touchdown is 13th overall. See, Jake Fisher is now the H-back. See the lead block there? Now watch this block coming right there. Did you see that? That was when Jeremy, that's where Jeremy Hill was able to cut back and get to the end zone. It was a combo deal. Jake Fisher leading. I thought it was a buoy maybe. Going to get on the board. Fisher is the motion man. Back set up in the eye. Hand it off. Straight ahead. Touchdown, Jeremy Hill. Bulldozers in. Really, just straight power, straight up the middle. Fisher goes 305 pounds, and fullback Ryan Hewitt in the game. Hewitt kicks out there, and Hill takes care of the rest, running over Akib Talib and getting into the end zone with ease. AT! On second down and nine, it is Hill again. Has some room on the right side. Jeremy Hill breaks free. It's a foot race to the end zone. Hill at the 20. Hill takes it in. Touchdown, 74 yards. Fourth rushing touchdown this season by Jeremy Hill. And the Bengals answer right back. Second and ten. That's Hill. Marcus Gilchrist and the Jets who allowed only four rush touchdowns all of last season have given up one here and Cincinnati takes the lead back Clint Bowling the left guard he is watching 65 makes a double team block gets out gets David Harris and allows Jeremy Hill to first and goal from inside the team keep it on the ground it's Jeremy Hill bounces off a tackle and he waltzes into the end zone Brown and Jeremy Hill has his third rushing touchdown. Jones comes in motion. And the handoff goes to Hill, and he chugs his way into the end zone. New Jackson playbook, and then Hill is able to barrel his way in for a touchdown. Jeremy Hill. And he will punch it. The goal inside the one. McCarron struggled with the snap. Gets it to Jeremy Hill, who's into the end zone for the second time in the quarter. They'll give it to him. And he's in for the touchdown. Looking to power it in. Hill runs off contact for the touchdown. The contact of the Broncos. And Hill has his second touchdown rushing of the afternoon. On first down, walking it in is Jeremy Hill. Second and six. Now Jeremy Hill looks in for a touchdown, and Cincinnati takes advantage of the great kickoff return to retake the lead. A lot of deception on that play. It's a weak side handoff with a fake end around. They're going to hand the ball to Hill, and you're going to see a fake end around over the top. And it fools. 
the giant defense and Jeremy Hill just like that put Cincinnati back on top running the ball that's always Jeremy Hill and he finds the end zone here that is his seventh rushing touchdown of this season watch the push they get here Bodine 61 Zeitler 65 and then over to the others I mean Zeitler 68 bowling was 65 and it ripped the hole really came to the right side between Bodine 61 and Zeitler 68 and Jeremy Hill's vision second down and goal Hill up the middle spins and he is in for the handed off to Hill Jeremy Hill busting through for the touchdown